It's Maura, Alyssa, and Dylan here Hi. with another science experiment. Today we are exploring sink or float. So this is something that I am pretty confident that you can all try at your homes. All we did, we took a tub, and this was in their playroom with lots of toys in it, and I just dumped it out carefully on the floor and filled it with water. And then I collected 10 things from my house, and we're gonna find out whether they sink or float. Mm -hmm. So maybe when we're done with this, watching this video, you can go find maybe five things in your house and give it a try, mm -hmm. all right? So the first thing we're gonna do, how about a spoon? So what do you guys think? Is this gonna sink or float? How about you, Dylan? I think it's going to sink because it's made out of, like, um, metal or, like, that is heavy, that like, weight. Okay. Like metal. So what we're going to do, each item, I'm going to make a chart, and you guys can do this at home on a piece of paper. Pizza Doll, and I know you're familiar with the chart we have for pizza day in our classroom, and you can write yes or no on it. So the first column says, will it float? So you're going to write your prediction, yes or no, if you think it's going to float. And the next column, did it float? And you're gonna write yes or no if it did. So the first thing is metal spoon. So Dylan thinks it will not float. He thinks it will sink, right? So we're gonna write no right here. So Dylan, drop it in. Let's find out if you're right. Woo! Ah, Dylan was right. And I bet you guys guessed that too, the metal Spoon did not float. It sunk to the bottom, so we're gonna write no. All right, what's next? Load it on boat. Yeah, because this one is our prediction. Will it float? Oh. And this is what happened. Did it float? Oh. All right, what should we do next? How about the ball? What do you think? Is the ball gonna float? No, because it, I don't not think so, because it's like rougher and like, I just wanna see it bounces. Okay, we'll so. give it a try. So we're gonna write. What happened? It sunk to the bottom, just like the ball. Explosion. So we're gonna write no, if you did not think it would float, and you were right, it did not float. Next, how about this nice yellow Lego piece? Do you think this is gonna float or sink? Float. Do you think so? Mm -hmm. All right, you hold on to that while I write down Lego. And you think, will it float? You said yes. So drop it in and see if you're right. Up, oh, can you see guys? Dylan was right, it's floating right at the top. And how about the mandarin next? Do you think this is gonna float or sink? Sink maybe. You think so? Mm -hmm. All right, let's check it out. It's Woo. No Were you right? <laughs> no. Oh, so what's it doing? It's floating. All right, so mandarin, will it float? You said no, but actually, is it floating? Yes. Yes. So let's write yes. Oh, and I forgot to write yes for our Lego did it float. So you can make a chart just like this at home to keep track of your observations. All right, how about this? I think we can all guess the answer to this. Yeah. This is a heavy rock. What do you think, Dylan? I think it will float. You think it's gonna float? I mean sink. Okay, I thought so. All right, go for it. <laughs> Woo! All right, maybe when you're trying this at home, you can put the things in a little gently. We don't need to break anything. All right, so rock. Right. We said it will not float, and we were right. It did not float. So how about the plastic spoon? I think this is going to float because, as you can see, the, um, the um, metal spoon sinks, and this is made out of plastic. And I think the Lego is the same type of plastic like the spoon. So I think yes. Wow, you are just full of so many observations. Mm -hmm. Let's give it a try. Interesting, I was not expecting that. The first time Dylan just tried it, it sunk to the bottom. When I practiced this, it did not do that. So what? let's see, I'm gonna try it this time, let's see. What? Uh, mm -hmm. This time the plastic spoon was floating at the top. Maybe it's if you I think Dylan's right. It kind of depends on the angle it goes into the water. When it's a little flatter, it covers more surface area and the water helps it stay up. But when Dylan drops it at an angle, it sinks to the bottom. So we're gonna write yes and no for the plastic spoon because that kind of depends. All right, next we have a paintbrush. Do you think the paintbrush is gonna sink or float? Mm -hmm. 
sink? Let's find out. Uh, what happened? It floated. <laughs> All right, let's write paintbrush on our chart. All right, will it float? Dylan said no. He thought it was going to sink. Did it float? Yeah. Yes. All right, next I have some pennies. How about you can do two and I'll do two. Ready? One, two, three. We forgot to say our guess, but you know what? If you're in Kita Dalit, we already did an experiment with pennies and floating and we made those foil boats. Do you guys remember that? You can try that at home too. And you always So we see, knew the pennies were gonna sink. You always see the wishing ponds where you put a penny in and they always sink to the bottom. Right? Dylan, you are just a wealth of information. Mm -hmm. You're right, we do. Sometimes we throw pennies in fountains and they sink to the bottom when you make a wish. Mm -hmm. All right, glue. What do you think? Maybe it floats because well, it's like very thin and, and it's almost stuck to the glue. All right, I'm gonna write glue and I'm gonna write yes because you think it will float. Let's find out. I don't know about that one, it's heavy. Let's go. Oh, Dylan's right. It's bobbing along the top of the water. It's trying to right itself. It's trying to stand up, but it's still floating at the top. So I'm going to write yes on our chart. And I have one more thing. I have a screw. What do you think, Dylan? Is it going to sink or float? Can he float? You think so? Let's give it a try. Oh, straight to the bottom. The screw sunk. Right away. Yeah. So this and the other one. So Kita Dalit and Kita Gimel friends, if you're watching, why do some things float and others sink? Why is that? Dylan, you're here with me, so let's hear your answer. Maybe what do you think? Because, like this is like a metal, like like I mean I wait like oh. I heard you say weight, so you think it has to do with how heavy something is? Yeah. Well, the weight and the shape of items does have something to do with it, but that's not all. The answer has more to do with density. And I know that's a big word, but to help you understand density, I want to explain that everything, everything in life is made out of these tiny, tiny particles, so tiny that we can't even see them. So I have some Legos here on the table, and let's just pretend that these Legos are the tiny particles. So how dense something is depends on how, space, how much space is between the particles. So if these Legos or particles are really, really close together like this, then the item is going to be more dense and have a higher density, just like the metal spoon that sunk right to the bottom. And if something has particles that are more spread out, the Legos or particles are spread out like this, then it's gonna have a lighter density, a lower density, and it's going to float. So like what? Like our paintbrush. So we now know that the metal spoon had a higher density because the particles are closer together and the paintbrush had a lower density because those particles that make up the paintbrush might be more spread apart, okay? And everything has density, even the water. So it all depends if the density of the item is heavier than the density of the water, it will sink. But if the density of the item is lower than the water, then it will float. So I hope you have fun trying this at home. You can try to find some of the same items if you want to try to do, find out if you have the same results that we did, or you can find anything in your house, but make sure it's okay with mom and dad or grandma, whoever you're staying with, that it's okay to get it wet and drop it in the water because we don't want to break anything, right? So have fun trying this at home and I'll see you next time for more science. Bye. Bye.